Hi everybody. Um, I've had some interest in my planner. Um, some have wanted to see how it's going. <laughs> so I thought I would do a little flip through of what I have so far. So I still haven't decorated my cover. I will eventually, but not yet. So on this page, these are images from Mischief Circus, and then I decided to do just a balloon in watercolor and do a quote, and it says, when we're able to put most of our energy into developing our natural talent, extraordinary room for growth exists. And then I just did one of my doodle borders that I love to do. So on this one, you've seen this in my gel press video I did um, this month where I could list things that I needed to get done this month. And then I have my calendar. And I have my August tab. And so far I'm loving the pages that I'm doing and they're not all the same. Like I haven't kept to the same style. Sorry, I had to move my garbage can out of the way. <laughs> so I have, um, trying to think. Yeah, this is Mischief Circus stuff, these images. And then there's some stickers and some doodling. So it's a mixture of everything. And yeah, this is two days to one page. And so I don't have it, I don't want it to be super structured. I kind of want it to look messy, but cool. <laughs> You know what I mean. So this one, and that's a drawing I did that I just photocopied and printed on there. And this month I had done a fold out for a meal plan so I could put, like, when I'm doing well, <laughs> I plan my suppers. I don't plan like breakfast and lunch, just, just dinners because it helps like especially you know you're working and it's nice to know like what you're gonna have when you get home from work so you don't have to rummage around and look for what you want so this month and I would like to be good enough to actually do this every week but this is the only week that I tipped one in so it's a meal plan and then that little piece is to write, like for this recipe I was making creamy butter chicken and potatoes and carrots. So I needed to write down, like say I would write cream, chicken, potatoes, carrots, unless I already had it at home, then I wouldn't jot it down. But it's basically a grocery list. So on this one, Let's think. This, I believe, is, um, I think it's a mixture of Tim Holtz Distress Paints and ink pads and stuff, and then it's like stencils. And this one is a big joggle stencil. Nope, oh, that's supposed to be on that side. And I had gotten some new plants for my garden, so I just thought I would put the tags in there. And this way, if I need to know something about the plants, like what I'm supposed to do, or if something's not working and I'm like, why aren't my plants growing well, then I can just look on those. This is all Distress inks and stencils. And I really love the look of this background because like, everything is left white 
and then the only color is what was put through the stencils. Whereas on the other pages I had colored the background and went in with stencils. So I really like the look of this. And again there's a mixture of Mischief Circus and stamps and stickers. And I have some washi tape on the end. I really love the look. I haven't been doing it in this album, but it looks so pretty when you have an album and you have washi tape on the end of every page. Like when you look at the side of your page, it looks awesome. This one, I completely covered the background. And it is just dress paints. I have a Tim Holtz um, stamp and then I colored it in so I could journal on top of it and this is when Tim Holtz started following me on Instagram and I was a little ah <laughs> it got me excited <laughs> and like I said I use this more for jotting down things that has already happened more so than planning the only planning I do is jotting things down in the calendar, really. So it's almost more like a journal than a planner. But, you know, it's whatever I want it to be. <laughs> so we have some stamping and colored in. And it looks, and I have to remember that I like it and to do it more. Because I love how I used stamps for the words can't sleep like I love the mixture of the fonts and handwriting and stamps I love the look of it this he he <laughs> um, I drew a character and then I made a stencil so this is actually a stencil of a character I drew. Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> so it says, I made a stencil. That's just some ephemera. Like, I have, like, some of this stuff is old stuff that I didn't throw out from scrapbooking days. And when I used to have, like, you know, the real planner, it's like, you know, the craze. It's still going on where you. Like, I was a part of um, the Planner Society. It's a kit that would come every month. And so a lot of this stuff is from that. And then a lot of it is stickers from scrapbooking. So I'm trying to use it up and use it in here. So this is totally different, <laughs> like color-wise anyways, than the previous pages. Um, Right Brain Planner, an account on Instagram. I love her pages. And I don't mean this in a negative, criticizing way. I mean it as a compliment because, like I said, I love it. Her pages look so messy, <laughs> but it's like a beautiful messy. It's hard to explain, but she, and she uses like these kinds of colors like red and dark blue and yellow and I don't know what it is but I just absolutely love her pages and I think every month she has a hand and I think there's like a circle around the hand with um, and it's like divided into sections and I haven't read and I'm not a part of her group or whatever um, so I don't know what it represents. I'm sure it represents something, but I love it every single time she posts a picture of it. I just absolutely love it. So this is not what her hand looks like, but I just put it there because I like it. So this is Distress Paints, and I traced my hand, and then I used a stencil and just traced out the stencil and then doodled in parts and added some thicker lines to make it look shadowed. 
um, Diane Reevely stamped border. Just drew a rainbow and colored it. And these I um, wrote a different, a few different styles of um, writing for the days of the week. And then I scanned it so I have it on my printer and I can print them out whenever I want to use them. So I was on holidays. We're still back in August. And there were things that I had wanted to do while I was on holidays. And I have four days left of my holidays. And I don't feel like I've accomplished much. <laughs> so I wrote in the things that I wanted to get done. And I got it all done except for one, which is now done. But I didn't do it while I was on holidays. But it is done. So I like, I like that too. The tracker, while it's a great idea, I just don't do it. <laughs> I always forget. I forget to um, track it. Yeah. So I have been taking my B12, but I haven't checked it off. Like, I think if it was something that I moved with the page, like if I had it on a piece of paper that I could just clip to the top and move it with me. I think then I would do it, but having to go back and find the page, even though I have a paper clip, I know it doesn't make sense, but I am the way I am. <laughs> and I will not go back and fill it. Like I just filled in, I have a period tracker and I didn't fill this in when it started, but I only filled it in last night after the fact. So I'm just, I'm not good at going back and checking things off. This page, there's not a lot on it, but I love it. Like I think it's the colors. Like I do love this color combo and this is Dilutions paints. So I'm pretty sure it's bubblegum pink and um, is it pure sunshine? Is that what it's called? Yes. It's like two of my favorite Dilution pink colors. And I think the flower is cherry pie. This is Dilution stamps. These little things that I use for jotting some journaling. This is Mischief Circus, and actually some of the pieces, I think these three pieces are Tisha Moore, and then the other stuff, like this is Mischief Circus, and this is Mischief Circus. So again, I like it when there's white space. I say that, but I also love this. <laughs> so that's why it's nice that it's my planner and I'm doing it how I want it. And if I want it to look complete opposite from one day to the next, that's fine because it's mine. <laughs> and I don't have to answer to anybody. <laughs> so this one... It's either watercolor or I'm thinking it sprays and then apply more water to let it spread. It's one of the two. And then I went in with stencil after. Um, and again, I'm not going to read you everything from my days because I love you guys, but none of your business. <laughs> Not that there's any big secrets in my life, but I mean, again, it's not that exciting that you even would want me to read it. So these are actually, this is a stencil um, and it has like M and then Monday up top and you know, one for each day of the week. And it's a crafter's workshop stencil 
and it's designed by Balzer Designs. So I used that one for one week. And I even, like, I found this piece of paper at work. And it was on, I think it was on the back of a piece of paper that I had to file or something. But there was nothing on the back of where this was written. So I tore it out. <laughs> and I kept it because I thought it was sweet that somebody wrote somebody a note. It was either for me or for my daughter who works in the receiving area. And as thought of the day, if you can't find any sunshine, then be the sunshine. And then somebody doodled a sun and a heart. And I thought it was cute, so I kept it. I kept it first because I thought my daughter did it. But now I'm not so sure. Because the more I look at it, that does not look like my daughter's writing. Um, this one... I did a little flap because I think it was, yeah, it was because the month was ending and I didn't want to do a full new page. I wanted to keep it contained here. So I just added a flap to this page. And that is a stamp that I carved. It's supposed to be of me. An old my old profile picture on Instagram. Um, some stamping and doodling. I really, like I said before, I really like the mixture of doing different fonts. So it would be nice if I remembered that and actually did it more. And I love this. This is a dilution stamp and I just journaled inside of it and it says, yay, it's the weekend. And this is another dilution stamp and I put happy hump day. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I was trying to go without chips. And it was really, really on my mind. Like, I don't know how many days it had been, but I wanted chips. <laughs> and this is a Mischief Circus dude. And I just, this is a doodled box that I did. If I can find it quickly. I, oh, it's right here. I doodled some boxes and like meant for this for journaling. And I did a few different styles and then I scanned them in my computer so I could print them whenever I want them. And some of them are plain and then some of them I added some of my own drawings to them. Let me get something. So that's a sketch I did and it says she was feeling easy breezy. another girl I drew. I don't know what it is about her but I love her and she's not very pretty <laughs> but I just love her so much. That's another one I drew and remember I drew a bumblebee because I needed it for one of my iCads. Well I just it was scanned into my computer so I shrunk it down and added it to another journal block. And that's another drawing that I did that I actually watercolored. So I have my own personalized journaling blocks that are mine. That I didn't use any stamps or anything on. It's totally me. So I like that because I don't have to worry about, I don't know, just sometimes when I do stuff it's like, I like to get a point to a point maybe where I can do something and not have to worry about copyright because I use somebody else's stuff. Although I don't have to worry about that for this, but who knows. And sometimes it's just really nice to see your own artwork on something. It just makes it that much more cool and personalized and it means more. So now we're into September. And 
another thing I've done, um, instead of using like Mischief Circus, and the board is public on my Pinterest. I have, I think the folder is, or the board, however they say it on Pinterest. Um, I think it's called for magazine journal because I used to do a magazine journal which was a lot like this kind of somewhat and uh, which I got that idea from Joanne Hodges um, oh I can't remember what her YouTube is channel Crafty Hodges I think that's what her YouTube channel was called and oh yeah <laughs> I was forgetting where I was going <laughs> She would get, she would just take images that she would find on Pinterest that she liked and printed them out. And so that's why, like, you'll see a board called For Magazine Journal or something, or Magazine Planner or something like that. And that's where these images came from. And these other ones are from, well, that's Dilusions, but this and this. I think this is Tisha Moore because I joined I think she calls it Art Stronauts <laughs> Club <laughs> it's like astronaut but art instead of ast you can say it <laughs> made a little tab for September and this is a gel print of mine that I scanned and printed and then I glued it down to the background but then I did some additional stenciling on top after. Um, joggle stencils, super old stickers, like so old. <laughs> That's a stamp that I cut out, like stamped and cut out. Again, images that I found on Pinterest. That and the little bear and this. This is, um, see, art, art stro. <laughs> it sounds so funny, like. I can read it in my head, but saying it out loud is just not happening. Artstronauts? You know what it says. <laughs> so this is when I joined. Because I love Tisha Moore. I love her style and her collage. And this is actually her husband's drawings. Because if you join the club, you get a whole bunch of things that you can download and print like a lot like she has a lot of claw sheets and they also include her husband's as well so this is everything on this page that's been cut out and glued is from her well the bowl I drew because I wanted a bowl. I made some turkey soup that day and but these swirlies, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they were on Tisha's collage sheets. But I just used it used it like, you know, steam coming up. And this is all doodles. That's a stamp. Stamp. This one says, I just want to play all day. And it was just doodling. It was a technique that Tisha Moore has showed, and I just want to try it. And I was going to do more to the page, but then I was kind of afraid of wrecking it. <laughs> so I didn't. Again, more Tisha Moore or Tracy Moore. I think this is more Tracy's. I need to stop eating crap. My eating has gotten really bad. I am being very, very bad. And well, the last week I'm trying to do better, but 
I need to get my butt in gear and take care of myself. Because I have not been. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> There's a pen that I use a lot and I love it. And it wasn't working. Like the night before it wasn't, like it would work and then it would stop. So I left it alone and then the next day there was a piece of scrap paper on my desk. So I was testing the pen and you know, I didn't want it to scribble. So I wrote something <laughs> and I wrote, are you dead? Meaning like the pen is the, is it dead? It's, it's a garbage and it wrote. So I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm like, yay. So my son comes in my room and he, and he sees this. And he's reading it and he starts laughing. He thought I was like being somewhat morbid or in a mood and was asking myself if I was dead. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So that's why I included it in here because his reaction was funny. Um, that's from Pinterest. And it's like she looks like she's like, you know, she's, she's dragging her eyes down and it's kind of that Ugh, look. And I thought it was su very, very much suited my mood because I was editing a video and I had a fair amount done and the program just crashed and nothing was saved. So that was how I was feeling plus a few curse words. I like this too. It's softer and and it is more structured, which I won't be doing all the time, but I still like it because there's a little bit of whim whimsy. So this is just freehand. I drew some lines and then I just wrote the date, made it fit in there. I joined Tina Walker's class, um, Recreate, where she takes eight or nine, I think it's nine art journal layouts that she really liked and she teaches how to do them. So I printed off her thing and put it in there. That's Mischief Circus. This is just sprays in the background. Pinterest and I haven't finished this is bad like it's October or what six seven six and I have not done anything for October I only just did this last night or the night before and I don't want to give this up because I really enjoy looking back at it like I feel like I skipped that one. I don't think I showed that one. I showed that. I don't feel like I showed this. This is another stencil I made. Yay. And then this orange part is another stencil I made. This is just a little card. It was a scrap piece of paper and I liked how it had this little bit of paint on it. It looked very artsy to me. So I just wrote this week to do and added a die cut. And I wrote a list of things I needed to do. So yeah. That is it so far. So I hope you enjoyed that little flip through. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.